Coming in at 11,240 pounds, the 366 Rear Den Cougar here at Halet RV. This is the mid-size fifth wheel that gives you all the really big important features of the big size fifth wheels without the big size, weight, and price tag. Nobody ever seems to complain about something being lighter weight and less money. Who could blame them? Maybe less than some, but more than others, this Cougar maintains a, a, a fair measure of travel functionality. Um, you know, from the door, obviously, we can get up here to the uh, bedroom and bathroom deck. That's pretty normal out of most fifth wheels. But a lot of big couples camping rear living fifth wheels, that's basically where it ends. One of the things that I like about this floor plan specifically is due just to the way the layout happens to work out, you can still get to that full four-door refrigerator right there. If you need to stop in transit and uh, you know grab a quick bite to eat, you can. And you can basically pack up your kitchen. So you can pack up your kitchen, you can pack up your living room. You can do all the really important things you need to do in transit without having to stop open up slide outs, you know. Now, if you want to stop and, you know, take in a movie for the night, then yes, naturally you're gonna to have to open slides, but that's usually not a major travel concern. So I like what they did here. Then you pop open the slides, and oh my goodness, they, <laughs> they knocked this one out. I love what they did here. They took so many touches from Big Sister Montana but they really applied it to the, the right scope, size, and scale for the Cougar family to, to really make it their own floor plan. They've done an amazing job of this. Um, so we'll come back to the kitchen in a minute, but one of the updates as compared to previous uh, generations, not even that long ago, is a refrigerator that is just 50% uh, larger standard. You don't have to pay extra to upgrade that. This kind of reminds me a little bit of, uh, we always called it the Barn Beam Montana that we carry here at Halet RV. Uh, that uh, just nice, it's nothing more than decorative, but it looks good. And what I think is cool about it is just that little visual element right there. It defines, that's a living room, this is the kitchen. Instead of just being kind of an open air concept, it really, it gives you the, the feel of a room without a room. <laughs> it's kind of cool what they did here. So, like a lot of fifth wheels that are very popular right now, we've got dual opposing trifold high to bed sleeper sofas. Those can both open up and there's plenty of room to walk between them. Because these slides are on the lower deck of the RV, because it's not like an elevated deck and they didn't have quite the weight challenges they did in their previous rear den with an elevated rear deck, they were able to make these slides deeper. That means we have Bigger windows, more light, more cross breeze, less weight because we're, we don't have all the extra construction. We have more space, we have fewer steps, we have easier access. This is just, this is improved in like every way, shape, and form over the previous generation. They've crushed us. Even like right here at the theater seat, cross breeze window, cross breeze window. We've, you know, everything has a pair in this, everything has a mate. It's awesome. Um, like you've got, you know, the cross breeze windows on both sides of the sofa slides, you know, the rear window has breeze window, uh, you know, panels, this has breeze panels, <laughs> it's like Oprah, you get a window, and you get a window, you all get windows! Anyway, <laughs> so power up down, 4K HD TV back here, that is just nonsense, we've got 4K TVs and RVs nowadays, that's <laughs> incredible. So if you want to add like Blu-ray or a satellite or something and you're really into that ultra, ultra, ultra high definition, well, this one could take care of you. AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth player below, pretty standard issue. I'm going to move right on from there. Big, extra wide electric space heater that we like to call a fireplace. And that gives you uh, the look uh, of a fireplace. You can turn on remotely. Um, what's also nice is, we'll get to this in a second, but Theater Seat has handy little remote control storage, so you don't have to like constantly juggle those or like have them slip between the cushions of the seats because that's not fun. Now, there's a couple different styles of heating in RVs. There is cabinet ducted heating, which removes the vents from the floor, and then there's floor ducted heating. The benef there's benefits both ways. The benefit of floor ducted heating is that it is significantly more efficient. It's not that it'll get warmer in here, it's that it'll get up to temp quickly, more easily, and it'll give your furnace a chance to turn off and take a break. So you're not burning that candle at both ends. Because even if it had cabinet ducted heating, it was less efficient, the furnace had to run harder. It's not going to fail under warranty. It's going to fail out of warranty 
faster. So those are the kind of things you need to consider. Which way is more important to you? Cougars are built for efficiency and for long-term ownership. That's why they've been the number one seller in a mid-profile for, what is it, 14 plus straight years? I don't even know. I love all the, the power outlets on both sides of the TV. Everything in this is really smart. Full overhead storage above the TV is a nice touch, too. And extra overhead storage in the slides. Because these slides are on the lower deck now, they could keep big windows, give you a hide-to-bed, give you more room, and uh, give you overhead storage. And is better than ore. Now, one of the cool things they've done in these Cougars is instead of pleated cloth shades, they went with these really nice wooden plantation blinds. Now, what I like about them is not only do they kind of tie in the whole warm, earth tone log cabin feel that's sort of flirted with here, but you can clean them. Pleated cloth shades, they are hard to clean. Uh, they can kind of just collect dust bunnies, depending on where you live. Those wooden shades are very easy to clean by comparison. Now, this is a wall-hugging set of theater recliners right here, directly across from the HD TV. So you don't have to get a neck wrecker going on here. There's no neck wrecking going on this one here, brother. And again, just a good look at that little accent barn beam here. I'm going to just pan over to the side. And it never looks small in here. And what I love is they did this. They have a very nice, big, spacious feeling kitchen without a door side slide out. What's also interesting about that, not only does it benefit your patio space, it actually increases the amount of kitchen storage capacity you could have here because they didn't have to shrink the cabinets to fit into a slide out. They were able to just go nuts, man, packing this thing with big, easy access cabinet space. And I like the level exchange in case you like to decorate above there. So um, Cougars for a long time and have had these bigger Max Air fans here in the living room. Uh, what I like is this is located right in the uh, you know like kitchen cooking area. So you can really uh, exhaust a lot of heat on this if you want. You see the little raindrop? When you see the raindrop or an umbrella, that indicates this is one of those that has like the, uh, the weather sense. So if it starts to kind of spritz of rain in there, it'll shut itself down. Um, big residential size uh, microwave right here. So, you know, if you are going to cook up a storm real quick, you want to cook a quick meal real fast, you're good. And I love this expanded viewing window here in the kitchen area. But what's not, I mean, we haven't even scratched the surface. And that's not even a third of the storage. You have full lower cabinet storage as well. And you actually have exceptionally nice prep space in here, especially when you consider... You have the stainless recessed sink with those uh, flush mount tops. I put one of two in so you can see the sink. And a recessed stove to give you max space there. Now, we've got anywhere you see countertop space, you get cabinet space. And that's a beautiful thing. And there are power outlets mounted under these cabinets, including this right here, which is the perfect little appliance corner. That is Coffee Maker Blender Central right there, ladies and gentlemen. But, we've only looked at about two-thirds of the storage now. We still have another whole chunk to go, and that is this whole front wall double pantry here with motion-sensitive lighting, which is actually kind of cool. So, you've got all this tasty space right here, loaded up with pure storage. Now, something I just realized, Keystone is very good for this. Um, they actually frame out, like, uh, our bedroom doors, they are fully studded and framed. But if you notice, they did the same thing here. This, uh, this buck, this doesn't bend. This doesn't buckle. This is a fully framed door. This is the exact same kind of construction. They give a person pass-through door here for your pantry because it is just so darn big. I love that they never cut that corner. They do everything all the way in this thing. In terms, uh, you know, that's why our, our Cougars have had very good structural uh, success ratings and whatnot. Um, okay, so we talked about that. I love the little overhead accent light. That's something they kind of borrowed from their sister Montana High Country. They do that quite a bit. And it just helps kind of brighten it up, open it up, make it look and feel bigger. Over here, let me go around this theater seat and not trip myself. Uh, we've got our four-door, 12 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. So that is 50% larger than what we had in the past. And you notice those, uh, those nice bright little LED accent light panels in the slide fascia itself. That's something that Cougar has recently adopted. And one, it just looks aesthetically pleasing. But what I've noticed is when you turn off all the main cabin lights at night, that gives you just enough glow to be able to see through the coach to get through here. Now, uh, because they didn't have to try to squish the kitchen down to deal with an elevated upper deck like they had in the past, 
we have a little more room in the dinette here, which also translates into bigger windows around the dinette as well. Uh, ooh, nice little ceiling. Just simple, but just nice little accent fixture up there. Something with shape and character. I like what they're doing. These guys are on it. They are on it right now. Moving upstairs. Oh, this is new. Um, this is new for this season. Uh, you've got the, uh, you know, our, our big, like, Fusion Toy Haulers, our Legacy Series Montanas, they had in command. And this is not, uh, a slightly scaled down version of that because this coach doesn't have all the things that some of those do. But you've, you can control your heating and cooling. This is cool. Being able to access your heating and cooling and everything right from here. That is slick, being able to do that. But... Um, what, what's kind of cool is your lights, your slide awnings, all that. You can operate that from here. And any Android or iPhone, you can download the in-command app and turn your phone into basically like a Bluetooth remote control for this thing. We'll talk more about in-command when we get outside. This is my, in-command is my personal favorite system. It just seems to work better, more reliable. I don't know that we've really ever had an in-command problem. I, these, I like these. And they only require 12 volt. You don't have to be plugged into 110. Now, Cougar uh, recently uh, re-standardized their upper deck, and they've uh, really done a lot of what Montana High Country does up here, and that is a very good thing. Um, you've got this uh, big sink. Now, uh, just because we left the kitchen doesn't mean we left the nice stuff behind. Like, we've got thermal foil, pressed membrane, waterproof, sealed edge countertops up here. Now, no, they didn't mount the door on the wrong side. The shipping lock is just on this side. So if you're ever curious, that's all you got to do. And now look how easy the shower is to get into and out of. Plus, you have that nice little corner seating area. The shower plumbing, if you notice, is recessed. So this is not a step-up shower. And that means that this entire uh, bathroom has the same overhead head clearance as, like, the hallway. And we still have a uh, very respectable, like, uh, you know, towel storage, bathroom, toiletry storage over here. Um, you know, dedicated heat vents in here into the bathroom so that it stays nice and warm and toasty for you if you need to sneak in here at night. Everything that matters is done. And now, again, this is where you can start to see some of the heavier construction on this. They have three-inch interior walls, and that's really not just a cougar thing. That's a keystone thing across the board. I see the same construction methodology all the way down to our entry-level Springdale travel trailers, which is probably why they have literally the best service record of any uh, stick-built travel trailer in the entire market. doesn't mean that there aren't other good campers. It just means that they've proven to have the, the most reliable records. Um, up here, bedroom, lots of lighting, high intensity. Now, at, this is there's a couple options I, I really want to hit on in here. This is, uh, there's an optional second air conditioner you can apply. Generally speaking, here at Halet RV, if an RV has a full bed slide, we're going to put a second air conditioner on it because you need it for that much cubic foot of space. Now, there are uh, a queen standard bed, and there, uh, pardon me, yeah, queen standard bed, and then uh, king bed option. We've applied the king bed here. The reason that we think the king bed works on a cougar is because there's still room to walk around it, and you don't lose side stands because they put their side stands on the outside of it. So you can still get in here, you can still make the bed, but you get the benefit of a big 70 by 80 king bed with nothing really lost. Uh, their front end hasn't changed a whole lot. You still have that big closet section. You have the uh, washer dryer prep corner over here if you want to put one of those combo-matic jobs in there. Um, there is actually a little stand with some power outlets in there if there's extra big things you need to plug into or anything like that. And they have standardized their bedroom TV. What's kind of cool is that even swings out because right now it's not really facing the center of the bed. So if you want to make it ultra, ultra ergonomic, you can do that. And, of course, the big window and the uh, the dresser that has been uh, a calling card in the Cougar bedrooms for a long time are still present. But one more thing that I love in here, and, again, it's those touches that Cougar does so well. It's just that mirror. It just makes everything in here look that much bigger, that much brighter, that much better. And these guys, like I said, they know that all the big important things are done, but they also pay attention to the little stuff. And we see more of that as we step outside. And I tell you, every time I look at one of these, I am so impressed. I mean, we, we've, we you know, we're a Cougar dealer, obviously. We have been for a while now. We've been very happy with the product. But the updates and the logic and the improvements they've made over even a year ago are astounding what they're doing here. Um, uh, let's just get right into it, because otherwise I'm just going to start fanboying over this thing. But first thing I want to talk about, and I'm going to touch back on this a few times, is how not just Cougar, but all of Keystone has the industry's most 
comprehensive three-year structural warranty. There are a few of those things out there, quite a few actually. They are not created equally. Um, Keystone has the single most comprehensive three-year structural warranty that covers more items uh, you know, in more detail than anybody else. And they also do more things to help you avoid voiding that three-year structural warranty. Their pro platform is not built with the hope that you fail and that you lose your warranty. Their, their platform is built on the fact that you're not gonna need to use it and you're not gonna have to lose it. Now, this is one of those newer update things I was talking about inside, in command right here. They have had outside TV hookups. They've had motion sensitive lighting in the past through. I simply have the battery turned off right now. This is new, but this is something we are familiar with here at Halid RV from like the Montana Legacy series and the, uh, the Fusion toy haulers. So, in command, if you're not familiar with what this is, first of all, take note of the fact that you've got all these different colored wires in here. Keystone was the first towable manufacturer to color code all of their wiring. I cannot even tell you what, what kind of breath of fresh air that is to, to work on one of these from a service standpoint, because, you know, we are a full service dealer. We don't just buy it and fly it here. Secondly, instead of those little uh, cheap RV fuses, we've got automotive bus style fuses. You can go to like any auto parts store anywhere, or like a truck stop half the time, and you can get replacement big fuses for these. First of all, it's really hard for those things to pop. Secondly, it's so much easier to find replacements for them. Now, let's say hypothetically, your digital touchpad inside goes nuts. We haven't seen one do it yet in a year and a half, but if it does, you can walk out here, you can change what slide, what awning motor you want to operate, and you can still pull things in and out from this panel as long as you have 12 volt. So there's still a physical override backup right here. Not to mention, God forbid, we haven't had a Cougar with an electrical problem yet, but if we did, we could actually trace the wiring down here. This is awesome. This is one of those things that I absolutely love about this product. Now you also notice it has a huge unobstructed pass-through uh, compartment there and with those uh, big double compression latches and they double magnet latch that thing so that if you do have to shut that friction hinge door it's not going to fall on your head and hit you. Now another thing that I like on this and uh, this is a note they took again from Big Sister Montana is they don't just have a 30 inch wide entry door they also have something like a 72 inch tall entry door or more, I don't even remember, I, like, I, I'm 6'2", six, 6'3", six, whatever, I can stand in this door and have multiple inches above my head comfortable. I never measured it, because I figure if I'm not going to hit my head, no reasonable person would. If you're exceptionally, exceptionally tall, you're probably used to ducking anyway. They didn't really change the way their uh, front compartment here is structured, and that's good. I love how big this is. You can see it clearly stores that 16-inch spare tire. What I love about that front tire storage, though, is it is out of the way of the sun, the wind, the weather, the snow, the anything. Um, most of the slides being on this side of the coach and the only slide on the door side of the coach being all the way to the back means this is very patio friendly. A lot of folks have decks and things. Big Cougars are often used as seasonal type campers because they do have that kind of um, you know, insulation and, and packages and whatnot. These a Cougar was one of the very first things in its class, zero degree rated. They've been doing it longer than dang near anybody. Uh, automotive painted front nose cap with all kinds of LED lights that I really should have turned on and I always forget to do that until I'm looking at them and I go, oh yeah, I'm an idiot. Um, uh, automatic leveling with programmable vehicle hitch height memory, pretty common in this class. It is technically optional, but I bet you'll be surprised, like hard pressed to find one without it. You'd have to special order it without it more than likely. Um, other, uh, you know, big look at the rest of their pass-through storage. Uh, their enclosed privatized docking station here, that's where your battery disconnect is going to be located. Your outside shower is in there. And what I like is they use one of these hoses that has like a residential size uh, fitting on it. So if you want to use like a little sprayer handle, you can do that. Now there are more Cougar clones in the fifth wheel marketplace than literally anything else. Everybody is on a mission to take Cougar down. Yet, they continue to be the number one. Nobody seems to be able to knock the king off the hill. Other little brands, they make a run here and there, but no one actually gets the job done. And, uh, you know, if everyone's chasing Cougar, you gotta pay attention to the fact that what are these guys doing that makes everybody else so scared and chase them? And the best way I can describe all these other things out there, it's not that they're bad products. I think they're fine. But if you take a piece of paper and you set it on a photocopy machine, would you rather have the original or would you rather have a photocopy? 
The copy's close, it's functional, it gets the job done, but it's missing the fine details. And where I really see that done uh, missed and overlooked more than any other place is the way that Cougar handles their slide outs. So they have full walk on slide boxes, not just full walk on roofing, full walk on slide boxes. And that's something that not a lot of coaches have. Well, more than they used to, but it's still not standard. So you need to do some individual research. Any, any coach that I carry here does, but not every coach in the market does. Now they have uh, like anytime the slide is all the way in or out, they have triple seal contact. You can see they add a second barrier in there. Plus you have the interior bulb seal. Plus you would have the exterior bulb seal. But you notice how this is two-tone? That's not an accident. And this is not normal in the marketplace. They're normally all black. So why do they use a two-tone? Well, when this slide is slid in and it's in storage and the sun is baking the edge of that slide out, it won't leave those disgusting black rubber marks on here. Plus it degrades more slowly because it is less likely to um, absorb heat. Um, they also do little things like there's a little groove on the bottom of the trim here that if water is running down the side of the slide out, it'll cause that water to bead and drip, not wick into the subfloor. And you think, that's a, such a small, easy thing. Doesn't everybody do that? And the answer is no, no. I don't have anything else other than keystones that does it. It shocks me how simple it is. They also have a uh, um, a different sort of uh, linked uh, link method system to their air conditioning ducting. Long story short, they have these uh, uh, plastic tubular links that they put together on their um, air conditioner ducts so that you don't receive reduced airflow over time. Almost any brand of RV that makes a fifth wheel this size is going to have what looks like, uh, it looks like a cereal box, but it's like a foam and foil uh, cereal box style AC ducting. But all they do is thermal tape them together. And over time, imagine a cereal box, it'll start to droop. And as it droops, your space for the air to flow through goes down, so you end up reduced airflow. Keystones have a hard plastic link together to prevent that from happening. So on year 10, this will have the same airflow as year two. That's cool. All LED tail and marker lighting. I point that out because there are still quite a few coaches, even at a much bigger size and higher price point than this, that are LED tail lights only, not marker lights. So, you know, longevity, reliability, it's always on their mind here. Um, let's see, backup camera prep, 225 pound rated cargo rack on the back. Now, this is one of those things. Remember I was saying how Keystone wants you to keep your three year structural warranty, not void it? Well, a lot of these coaches that have three year structural warranties, if you want to put a bike rack or anything on the back of it, you void your warranty. So Keystone did it for you, but because they do it for you, it's included in their structural warranty. They stand behind the work that they do. It's smarter. It's built to last longer. Um, 16 inch radials, I mentioned that sooner, but I also want to point out the big heavy duty suspension shackle system that they have going on here. So if you are going down the road, you are not going to receive quite the uh, you know extra violent bumps, jumps, and jolts uh, as you could otherwise. This is a front to back shock dampener effectively. Um, the uh, steps, your aluminum plank steps, they are far more rigid than cheaper steel steps, and they're lighter weight, and you can see them at night. So, you know, here, why, why tell you about how I can stand in the doorway? Let me show you real quick. Let me do some, you know, this has been shoddy camera work all day, but, but look at this. Look, look at how much room I have in, uh, above my head here. This is awesome. I never have to worry about hitting my head, despite how tall I am. That's the kind of stuff I like about these guys, the extra little things they do. They're sometimes imperceptible and in a way they've done a lot of these things so smoothly and and seamlessly that you, you may not recognize it or consciously appreciate it but when you actually camp in one of these and then you visit a friend's coach that doesn't have some of these features that's when you go oh i did good getting this cougar absolutely i'm not going to tell them how happy i am with mine i'll let them keep having theirs because <laughs> Oh, we all like to one-up one another. We're all keeping up with the Joneses, aren't we? Anyway, so if you like what you see here, give us a ring. We do everything at Halet RV with the exception of hidden dealer fees. We don't do hidden dealer fees here, but we do hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, and truck and trailer package deals and everything in between. RV delivery, all that stuff. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.